Today we're checking out Alchemist Car Care Wheel and Tire Cleaner Brimstone. This is their designated wheel and tire cleaner. It is non-acid, non-corrosive, clean foam. Brimstone is a strong, non-acid wheel and tire cleaner that's safe on most wheels and its foam action and alkaline properties cling to the surface, cleaning the dirtiest of wheels and tires with ease. Dilutable and non-corrosive. It says heavy dirt, non-dilute. Average dirt, one to one maintenance, one to two. Pretty awesome. Again, having the dilution chart and all its information right on the label, extremely, extremely helpful. I love all the labeling. Not only is it uh, pretty fancy smancy, it's gonna look good on the shelves and on the cabinets. It is a uh, dilutable stuff. You can adjust to your cleaning power. We're gonna use it straight today. See how it really can deep clean that rubber on the, our wheels today on the Telluride. And overall, just amazing presentation from Alchemist Car Care. So far, they knocked it out the park with their uh, intense foaming shampoo and their citrus all-purpose cleaner. So I'm thinking the wheel and tire cleaner and the dressing today are gonna knock it out the park as well. And you know, it's springtime, so everybody's gonna be looking for a designated wheel and tire cleaners, that kind of deal. Time to, uh, you know, go over some basic wheel and tire maintenance along with our premium wheel and tire cleaner in brimstone today. So in the bucket for fender wheels, we have the Detail Factory fender wheel brush. It's gonna be able to get up in there, give us a real good scrub, that kind of deal for our tires. We have the Detail Factory tire brush. Again, it gives us a nice, good scrub. For our gloss black wheels, you can get away with some flag tip nylon bristles like we have here, but the safest possible wash is having a designated microfiber wheel mitt. This one's from the Rag Company. It is uh, the perfect size. Kind of gives you a half mitt to go over your fingers. You can really get up in here, even behind the spokes, give everything a real nice, safe scrub. And for our barrels, easy detail brush. It's a classic. It gets right on in there and does a fantastic job. And our lug nut brush. We have a nice boar's hair bristle brush from Work Stuff. Gets in them lug nuts. And that's our assortment of brushes we're gonna use to deep clean our wheel and tire to deliver some really nice spring clean in action. Now we gave everything a rinse, everything should be cool to the touch, that kind of deal. Now we get our cleaner, the brimstone wheel and tire cleaner. We're going to spray it into our fender wheels first, let it start breaking down that stuck on grind in there. Next, I like to do the tires. Again, let it have some extra dwell time on these uh, plastic fender liners, this rubber tire. It's, you can see it immediately start breaking down that grime, those old dressings. And then we put it on our wheels, the barrels, do the face. I like to put a pH neutral soap in our bucket just to give everything a little extra lubrication. Get in here with that Detail Factory fender well brush. It's going to do some really nice agitation. Next up, Detail Factory Tire Brush. It's going to give us that good scrubbing power. Easy detail brush for the barrels. and our wheel mitt for our faces. Deepen them lug nuts with our uh, work stuff, boar's hair brush, give that a quick agitation. Now let's give it a rinse off. Now we're going to pre-spray again on our tire. This is going to let us know how well it did cleaning on the tire. We didn't get much foaming action on the rubber. You see we're getting a little better this time and we're still getting some browning. So this isn't a one hitter quitter type tire cleaner. Give it a rinse. So with brimstone, you're definitely gonna wanna take two passes to make sure you get that deep clean on your tires. Make sure you get all that old dressing off, that kind of deal. You can see on the third pass, we're finally getting that white foam. So two passes it is for the brimstone wheel and tire cleaner. Next up, we're checking out the all-around dressing 
Redo from Alchemist Car Care. You can see it's a very runny liquid, water-based in formula. It is an interior and exterior dressing, so it can go uh, both inside and outside. Even on leather, you can apply this too. It's going to be a non-greasy type finish. Dry to the touch, and uh, best of all, no sling. You can see the formula easily spreads out, being a more liquidy side of things, not like that thick lotion most dressings are. And uh, just the spreadability of this product is top notch. Easy on trim, easy on tires. It's gonna leave you with a nice matte satin finish. It's really nice to look at. It looks a little glossy here because it's still drying, but once dry, it looks real nice. Durability on this product is probably gonna be one to two weeks. We'll uh, check on it on the next uh, maintenance wash next weekend, see how it's doing. But being exterior and interior, it's gonna be more on the short side of things, but safe for all surfaces. So there you go, we checked out two new products from Alchemist Car Care, the Brimstone Wheel and Tire Cleaner, and then we did a little dressing with Redo All Around Dressing, two uh, pretty good products. Very liquidy on the Redo, and uh, Brimstone is not quite a one-hitter quitter at full strength on rubber tires, but still two great products. You are definitely gonna find success with them, and if you've been looking for a non-lotiony type tire and trim dressing, you can even take this to the interior as well. It's an all-around dressing, just like it says, and it delivers on the goods. We'll see how long it lasts. Got to apply it to the trim, got to apply it to the tire. So we'll check up on that next week. Another couple of great products from the Alchemist Car Care line. So if you want to style and profile with this stuff, go check it out. I'll drop the link below. No promo code yet, but I'll work on it. All right, catch you on the next one.